Okay, this is a um, short video of uh, the Pickaxe um, Casio Power Graphics um, FX 9750G data logger. I'll just um, get my pen and just show you the screens. So this is a screen. Um, this screen shows you um, the information that's coming out from the temperature gauge, uh, which is the current range here, um, from a Pickaxe. It's an 8M2, um, could be a 14M2, could be any device, doesn't really matter. Uh, the protocol all, is all being handled in the pickaxe. Uh, this calculator simply makes requests and does all the graphics and all the analysis in the calculator. What we can see is that um, we've got a range of um, data samples on here. We can have um, up to 255 data samples on what's called a, on a page. And these data pages, there's six data pages, so you can do the math, six times 255 samples on this type of calculator. I believe that the later calculators, which this will work on, will support more than more pages than that. Um, we're doing simple data requests. We can send data to and from the, the um, pickaxe and to and from the cal calculator. And the calculator makes requests and does calculations. Obviously, the pickaxe is de dealing with integers, but the, cal the, the Casio calculator can handle the um, the real numbers. And essentially, um, we've just seen the temperature change, I believe. I wasn't looking myself, but um, this is the current temperature. Um, this is the um, the sample number for this data page. And this has been stored in the calculator um, in, in, in what's called a table. And so what we'll do is we'll just crash out and... Um, show you that information and here we have um, a list and these are all the current this is the temperatures that we've, collect, we've collected um, we can um, program this as I said 255 by six pages and um, it is logging this real time and we can program the time delay from the pickaxe um, we've got a manual override obviously on the pickaxe board which I built in which is a simple um, switch, which we'll look at in a moment, but essentially, what we can it stores the information in in these tables, which we can then export to, to a PC. We can um, redraw any page that we want to we want to look at. We can look at a uh, page two. So this is a run from um, about six or seven hours ago. Uh, the units here are all pre-programmed in the calculator. We can look at the units in a moment. And what it will do at the end of this, it will actually clear the screen, but I can, because I've only got one hand free, I'll try and redraw it very easily. And then you can zoom in and zoom out and do a further analysis. So these are, this is live data coming in last night. It gets colder and colder in this room. I think that's about a half a degree. And there we have a page of information. I'll just clear that down and then show you that again. Shift that. Hmm. Pass, not quite sure why that's not working. Oh, I'll turn the calculator off. <laughs> there we go. That's the information that we were just looking at. Now, if we run the same program again and we look at um, another page of information, we'll look at page one. Um, we'll see where the calculator has actually rolled the data. So what happens is it will roll the data. Once it gets to um, the end of the information, it then says, to, this vertical line shows me that this information here is, is the last data it was capturing. And then this is uh, maybe six or seven hours ago. So this vertical line just shows me in easy form that um, I've got a, a data roll in my information. So how does it do this? It, um, it's a program. And these programs are very simple. And this is essentially um, labels and some get, some get some data and do some basic maths. Okay, This is get the digital, get the decimal part of the temperature, get the integer, and then do some um, maths on that, or really hard maths. And if we have a look at that, we'll just run that now. We'll get the current temperature for 
on the pickaxe. It's only um, 27, sorry, 2207. I've run it again behind the Enter key. And it's got that a little bit colder. I can export the information to um, my PC for analysis, but I can do an awful lot of analysis in here. I can create new graphs, I can I have subroutines and a couple of other things, but what I'm just quickly to show you is um, just recontinuing where we left off. It was running. Now all this, all the units here are all programmed from the calculator, so I can have less samples on the page or more, etc. It's all programmed. So what we've got is 255 samples, one data page one, and it's continuing on from um, the 49th sample. It just knows all that from the data it's captured so far. In actual fact, if I put, put the override on, on the calculator on the pickaxe, we'll see it now. Um, We'll see it now pick up samples every two seconds. Not picking up samples every two seconds. Hmm. You can see it's updating. That, there's a, that's a program error there. That's just a little display error. That looks like the letter X. It is the letter X. That needs to be uh, sorted before I post it. So this is the current temperature coming through. If I put my finger on the temperature gauge, there we go, we can see it rising. And now it will come back down as it settles back down. It won't because the overrides come off. I'm balancing a, something on the override switch. Do it. There we go. There's the next sample coming through 65, 66. Very good. Quite pleased with that. Um, so if we now cancel out, we can see that in the in the in, we can see that in the logs. We can see that in the uh, list. In the in here, we would be able to scan through, but we could either export it out and do something with it. Um, so that was a demonstration of the. Uh, Pickaxe um, Casio Graphics Calculator, uh, data logger, and essentially what we've got is a we can uh, what I've shown you is we can draw graphs, we can capture data, we can um, easily um, send data. To, I didn't show you that, but trust me, we we can send data because um, the time delay is programmed from the calculator itself. Um, we will get a comma because I crashed out of it. Um, because we're sending information anyway all the time down to the calculator to, in terms of configuration. That's all configured from the program. Pickaxe just responds to it. You can send it 26, uh, sorry, 28 different variables down to the pickaxe and then handle them differently down there. And we can now see it's carrying on from where it left off. So that's a demonstration of the um, Casio um, pickaxe data logger.